In the previous video, we discussed about the MAPK pathway in CL against. If you want to watch that video first, you can click the link from i button or you can find it in the description. Now in this video, we will be discussing about MAPK or ERK pathway in mammals. First of all, let's see what are the signaling molecules in this pathway and general overview of MAPK pathway. The signaling molecule or we can say a ligand in this pathway is EGF that is the epidermal growth factor and the final regulatory protein in this pathway is ERK or you can say MAPK from which this pathway gets its name. The ERK stands for extracellular signal regulated kinase and MAPK is acronym for mitogen activated protein kinase. The ERK or MAPK molecule will act as a switch for various transcription factors which we will see later on in this video. The MAPK or ERK pathway is also known as MAP kinase pathway since it activates a cascade, a kinase cascade through signaling. Now let's see this pathway in detail. In the cell membrane we have got EGFR protein that's the epidermal growth factor receptor. It's just like RTK receptor with two monomers as shown in the figure. Then on the outside of the cell we have got a signaling molecule in the form of EGF that's epidermal growth factor. To initiate the signal this EGF binds to the EGF receptor which causes the dimerization of receptor due to autophosphorylation of tyrosine residues on the intracellular part of receptor as you can see in this diagram. Then after that the receptor dimerization will now signal the molecules in the cell. And the first molecule to be recruited is the adapter molecule GRB2. The GRB2 protein has SH2 domain as shown in the figure. And this GRB2 protein will dock to the phosphorylated tyrosine through its SH2 domain and gets activated. Then this activated GRB2 molecule now recruits another molecule called the SOS, son of Samenless. This SOS gets attached to the SH3 domain of GRB2 just beneath the SH2 domain. Remember the SOS molecule because it's one of the essential molecules in this pathway. It is the Gauni nucleotide exchange factor because this molecule has capability to replace GDP for GDP. It replaces GDP from inactive molecule and makes them active when it binds the GDP molecule to the target molecule. Simply we can say GDP is replaced and GDP is attached by this SOS protein or you can say SOS molecule. Here in this case this SOS acts on RAS molecule which has GDP bound as shown in the diagram. So it's in inactive form but this SOS replaces the GDP molecule with GDP on RAS thus rendering this RAS molecule in its active form. Now from here the kinase cascade kicks in. From here the activated RAF phosphorylates the RAF molecule. The RAF is also named as MAP triple K that is the MAP kinase kinase kinase. Furthermore this phosphorylated RAF molecule in turn phosphorylates and activates the MEK molecule. The MEK is also named as MAP double K that is MAP kinase kinase. And finally MEK targets and phosphorylates the final molecule that is the ERK12 also named as MAP kinase, a single kinase. Now this molecule is the outcome of kinase cascade and this ERK or MAPK molecule will now act on different transcription factors and regulate their function. The ERK12 has two target sites, either it targets the cytoplasmic substrates or it directly gets into the nucleus and targets the transcription factors. It depends upon the type of signal which transcription factor is to be targeted. First of all, let's see the targets in cytoplasm. We see there are two important transcription factors that are acted upon by MAPK molecule that include CPOS and CJUN. The MAPK dimerizes both these factors, CPOS plus CJUN, and the dimerized molecule is now called as activator protein 1. From here this AP1 gets into the nucleus while it binds to the DNA molecule on its AP1 motif and initiates the transcription. Another cytoplasm target of MAPK is the RSK that's ribosomal S6 kinase. The MAPK activates the P90 form of RSK. Just remember it, it's the P90 form of RSK which includes S6 protein. 
the activated S6 molecule has two different functions. First of all, it negatively regulates the SOS molecule. That means it inactivates the SOS protein in the pathway. And the other function of S6 is to regulate the transcription factors where it gets into the nucleus and regulates the CREB transcription factor or CREB transcription factor. Now let's see which transcription factor is directly activated by MAPK in the nucleus. We see there is a one essential molecule, one essential transcription factor which is directly activated by MAPK molecule that is the MIC molecule. This MIC molecule is activated by MAPK molecule. So this is how the MAPK molecule regulates multiple transcription factors depending upon the type of signal. But still the question is how the signal is stopped since it has to be stopped somewhere. The S6 molecule has already stated that it negatively regulates the SOS molecule. We know the SOS molecule activates the RAS molecule in the pathway. So if this SOS molecule is made inactive, the cascade will cease to exist. This is one way to stop the signal. But not only this, but there is another molecule called GAP molecule, which hydrolyzes the GTP to its GDP form, thus rendering the RAS molecule in its inactive state, the former state, thereby stopping the kinase cascade also. This illustrates us how the MAPK signal is regulated. So this is all about ERK or MAPK signaling. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.